Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. We are currently guarding a trading caravan that's heading south for just some coin. I have added Jean-Luc Picard into the mix. Uh, currently doesn't really have much armor, but is in the back with a pike. And then I also have Chroman with a billhook that I was able to find really cheap. Well, kind of cheap. Cheaper than full price anyway. I think they're usually 1600-ish. I got it for 400 because it was almost broken. So we got that, and I spent actually a lot of my money on that and the pike. So we went from like 2500 down to 400 because I had to buy food, I had to buy tools and supplies, and then those weapons. Because I wanted some kind of back row fighters, basically. And now I'm just trying to get some easy money. So far the trading caravans have been pretty, well, easy money. Those banner raiders thought they wanted to attack us. Uh oh. Okay. Um, well, we do have some other people, these caravan hands, who can hopefully assist us a little bit. Hmm. I guess we just kind of hold this line here. Uh oh. They have a crossbowman. Hmm. Maybe we will advance. There we go. Hmm. Actually, we may want to have... Uh, Khan, go up there. And just start wailing on that person. Hmm. So we'll engage in melee. Jean-Luc. Oh, I won't be able to attack. Well... Get up there. Move up and blast them. Nice shot. Or, well, nice attack. <laughs> oh boy. That's a two hander. Um, I think the billhook has a, yeah, a hook. So we can pull a target towards us. If we want to. Hmm. I guess for right now we go there? I'm not sure how this would work. I think we're two spaces away? But we just don't have enough AP? Then Julius... Uh, you have a missing finger currently, or a split hand, so you are not very offensive. We can still stick you in a shield wall, though. Try and get a surround or something. Try and murder these people. And you go down there like that. Uh, the crossbowman actually shouldn't be much of a problem since we're fighting at nighttime. Hmm. In turn. Okay. Whoa. Um, well, there goes Damien's shield. Huh. 
Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, take that. No! I'm kind of surprised that even hit. First kill for Jean-Luc. Uh, this is a slightly dangerous situation we're in here. There we go. Their morale is wavering. Yeah, oh my god, two kills. Let's hope you live. Oh, that's too far? No! Oh, crap. Um. Alright, here, move over here and assist this caravan hand. Croman. Only a 30 bit. Oh, because, yeah, you're in split hand. Um, well, we have a surrounded buff on this dude now. I guess debuff. You're just going to go into a shield wall because you're not very offensive. I don't want you to die. That'd be very bad. Oh my god! Old man caravan! Holy shit! I was not expecting that. Jean-Luc! Damn! Two for two! Crossbow man's getting the hell out! Con? Hmm. Con! That's too- that's too much. That's too easy. I can't- I'm not gonna make that. Got him in a full route! Uh, it's over. We probably won't catch the crossbow. Uh, we got another level on Croman. Alright, no deaths. Uh-oh. An injured shoulder will heal in three to four days. Alright. What loot do we get? Money. More ammunition, of which we have so much. A couple supplies. Nothing really in the terms of weaponry. So then we can sell it. Alright, level up. Croman. Level four. Didn't even get to swing that battle. Let's go with... Uh, initiative I'm not too concerned about. I guess hit points, fatigue, melee attack skill. For the perks, man, you don't even have student and you're already going crazy. No, we don't want taunt. Don't want backstabber. Well, hold on. For each ally surrounding and just no nah, nah. no no fatigue penalty from wearing armor and helmet is reduced by 35 percent that could actually help a little bit haste to the head no longer cause critical damage let's try that so now you have a little bit more fatigue you can fight a little bit longer all right. Keep this caravan going. And that caravan hand, dude. It's like boom headshot. Where are we going? Triton walked. Those dire wolves. Oh, there we go. All right, made it. 
Thank you. Let's check this place out. There's a contract available for a two skull. I kind of want to see if maybe we can hire some more people. Let's camp here for the night. Continue to heal our wounds and our tools. Four more days, 11 more days. All right. Let's see. Who wants to fight here? A shepherd. Oh, you look pretty cool. A witch hunter. Plus 20 resolve and morale checks against fear, panic, or mind control. Too bad you cost so much. If I had a ton of money, I'd probably pick that person up right now. A hound master. War dogs unleashed by this character will start at confident morale. That's kind of cool. I haven't found a spot to hire any war dogs yet, but that's pretty cool. I also don't really want to spend 340 on you right now. But I kind of do. Look at that little grin. But now, like, oh man. I don't know if I, have, like, if I have enough money to start investing in war dogs. People have told me that they're not really that strong. They're just mostly a distraction that you kind of throw at the enemy and they die. And then a shepherd doesn't really sound awesome. But... <sighs> That'd be really good too, but that's most of our money. Uh, I wonder if this person will stay here. Can we hire war dogs anywhere around here? Do you just like buy war? Oh my god, look at the cultist hood. Um, we are good on food. Our tools are kind of meh. But for the most part, I think we're okay. I will buy another bandage. And we're going to give that to... I think I gave somebody a bandage. Did I not? Yeah, I did. Con. Uh, we're actually going to change that. And we're going to give a bandage to Jean-Luc and then a bandage to you. They'll be like her medics. To try and stop bleeding. I don't know. Let's take a look at this contract. The peasants are badgering me again. They say there are goblins camping at a place called Long Pike's Den west from here. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to fight goblins. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just uh, let's just keep going. I kind of want to stick to the one skull quest for right now. Like, that goblin of... Or the pack of goblin wolf riders messed us up. I'm not exactly looking forward to fighting any goblins right now. Not until we have some more level ups and um, better equipment. Although having units in the back line is probably going to help out a lot. And ideally, you just have like a ton of two-handers back there. And archers. Here we go. Actually, hold on. You're pretty cheap. Plus 10% experience gain. What are you? A thief? Ooh. Hmm. 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 I think I'd rather take the apprentice right now. What are your skills? Fearless. 100% chance to survive if struck down and not killed by a fatality. Wow. You could say you're a survivor. You're not going to give... Um, you also have a decent range skill compared to the rest of us. And your melee is great too. Okay. How about we assign you the role... I don't have a bow. Shoot. Well, we'll give you a crossbow. We'll throw... A buckler and I guess maybe this scromasax something with low fatigue I think that's gonna be this 
Um, Blanched Gambinson. We'll give that to Jean-Luc. And then ideally, we get another two-handed or like a range of two. And so we can turn this person into um, a back row fighter as well. But for right now, you'll just have those. Okay. Now let's look at this contract. You need something delivered. Okay. 230? Brunstad. Maybe we should take the two skulls. Alright. That's a quick journey. Brunstad. Thank you. Oh. Multiple kind. Look at all these buildings. Look at these barbers. Hmm. We're going to shave Jean-Luc because, come on, doesn't have a beard. Uh, the baldness is right, though. Hmm. Kind of see it. Sure. There we go. And... I think that's it. I think Romans would not have... Maybe more clean shaven too? I don't know. I'm not a historian. That's fine. Okay, quests. Contract to deliver some car... Um, some cargo. What is the pay? 70 crowns in advance, another 300 when the job is done. Okay. To Matterberg. Is that just where we came from? Oh, no. It's down there. Okay. Oh, this is an actual... We're even with a trading caravan and everything? Oh, man. Julius the Roman comes to you, rubbing the back of his neck and nervously pulling on the front of his shirt. He proposes a plan wherein he goes into t to town... With a handful of goods to peddle around, and he's done so often in the past. Only problem is that he doesn't yet have the goods. He has to buy them from the local, uh, from some local in the nearby hinterlands. All he needs now is a bit of money to get him started and help to purchase the goods. I mean, Romans are good with money, right? They built an entire empire, and it thrived for a very long time. And then they wasted all their money and shit. Um, get a cut of the pro. I mean, this sounds kind of interesting. Five hundred crowns. That's you know, that's like most of our money. But sure. You hand Julius the, Rome, uh, the Roman the crowns and he goes off. A few hours later, the peddler comes running up with a small lockbox in hand. The wildly grin on his face is undeniable and he's unwittingly fist pumping as he glides to you. Wow. When he tries to speak, gasp of breath sees him. You hold your hand out, telling him to take his time. Setting down, the man hands over a heavy purse of coins, stating that it is your cut of the profits. Before you can even say anything, the man wheels on his heels and jumps away, giddy with his success. So we paid 500 we got 150. Julius gained one resolve, and he is now. He gained the eager trait? Plus 10 more to the resolve, and a 50% chance to start battle at confident morale. So we paid, what, 350 for this trait, basically? That sounds cool. Yeah, especially when you get your hand healed back up. I guess your ear is missing permanently, but hey, at least you're eager. Actually, we're pretty good on money. Okay, never mind. That worked out. And I don't think we're going to be attacked. This is just like free money. That's the best kind. Whoa, whoa. Nope, all right. I like these trading caravans, man. Alright. 300 crowns. I'll take it. Matterberg. Hmm. Let's check out the pool here. Caravan hand. Another apprentice. A brawler. Plus 100% damage when unarmed. 
Higher bravery, melee skill, and higher max fatigue. Dirk the Idiot. I mean, we, we gotta hire Dirk the Idiot, right? 100% damage when unarmed. This guy's going to die, but I like it. I like it. And then uh, another apprentice. Hopefully they all live long enough to be renamed later. This dude's super cool. Builds up two less fatigue for each tile traveled. Dumb. And has a hand-to-hand -hand attack. So, the 10 to 20 is increased by 100%. Doesn't really do much armor damage and has a minus 2 percent chance to hit. Starts with a decent melee skill. I don't know, it could maybe work. Maybe. I. Maybe. Let's see, what do you have? You're a Craven! Minus 10 to resolve. That's not good. Um, let's see, we can stick you with a Woodcutter's Axe. You do have a high melee skill. Or we can just give you... Hmm. Yeah, let's just stick you with an axe. That's fine. We'll see if you live. I don't know. Craven. I kind of want armor for... Uh, maybe I don't want armor for this guy. No, I want armor for that guy. Armorer. 243 for padded leather. Sure. And a... Uh, spending a lot of money. But okay. I'm curious where this goes. So I want to give you a chance at living through at least a attack. You're just going to run up and punch people. <laughs> oh boy. That should be great. Okay. Contract. I got an issue with green skins in these parts. They made a camp east from here. I can't afford to send my own men. Knights are rather unexpendable. You, however, are just right for the job. Thank you. Green skins? So not goblins, but actual orcs. 320 crowns in advance and another 1,040 when the job is done. Um, I accept your offer. All right, let's see the brawler in action. We have 12 people. That's a lot. We hold the front line with our shield wall. Brawler goes around the flank with the axes. <laughs> Probably is going to die to some, like, Orc Berserker or something. Actually, that would be his preferred target. Berserkers don't wear armor. Right? Oh! I don't know if they can get reinforcements from the camp or not. I, I can't remember if that's a mechanic in this game. So I'm just trying to pull them away. And now let's go. Only four of them, huh? I'll test out that brawling skill. No more ideal situation. You don't even have armor on. You do. Hmm. Oh, let's go. This is where the brawling guy is. Dark the idiot. Okay. Can't move there. Um. I think we just wait. Oh, I forgot to give you another shield. Oh, man. That's okay. Hold. And I think we may curve the line. I should see this. We'll put you there. I already know these two are going to be going up this way. So put Chroman up here. Like 
right there. Khan up there. Sean Luke up here. And let's go with a shield wall. Reload will be seven. No, we don't want you to sit right there. We need you to move back. is going pretty soon so let's just put up a shield wall here we'll do a spear wall there bruiser get ready well uh, you will hold Shoot. wait there we go I knew someone would come into range for now move up and attack actually um jean luc can probably finish this orc off so i'm just going to have khan sit still for now We're gonna move up and spear wall. Julius. Let's wait until Jean Luc moves. You will move. Actually, I'm not sure what I want to do with you. Hold there, please. Alright. There it is. That's fine. You're going to repost since you're up there. You're going to wait. Spear wall. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. 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 Holy sh... That charge, though. Ha ha. Ha ha. <gasps> okay. Um Just shield wall. And Hmm. We need you to move. We need Adrian to move. Uh, 
All right, we're just gonna move up the middle and start punching. <laughs> Yeah! Oh shit. What is this? Repel? Hmm. Hmm. Punch him in the face! Woo! <laughs> I mean, he was almost dead, though, so that's to be expected. And then... Uh, if we move up, we won't be able to attack, so... Stay there. Crap. There we go, shield's broken. Move up one. Attack. Oh! Whew. Uh, Julius is not very offensive right now, so you're just going to sit there. I think Steel will take your spot in that space. And then Jean Luc. Goodbye, Khan. Damn. Jeez. I'm not going to be able to get a clear shot. Man, almost got out of there without a loss. Shoot. Uh, a tree limb. Great. And Chopper. Oh no, I didn't even take it. Oh no, 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 the button. Oh my god. <sighs> It's fine. Cut artery, minus 35% hit points. Jeez. Alright. Well, I guess we'll put your fatigue up. Range skill, we could do. Give you student. Um... Hmm. Oh yeah, we need to give you a shield, buddy. It's the only one we have. Enjoy. That's gonna do it for this episode, everybody. So thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.